okay uh, let us see this uh, uh, this dy by dx and let us understand what is the meaning of dy by dx what is dy by dx okay see dy by dx means that if i change the value of x how will the value of y change dy by dx means once um, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating it dy by dx means what will be the change in the value of y if i change the value of x okay now for this there must be a relation between y and x y may be a number that depends on x y may be a number that depends on the square of x y can be any number which can depend on uh, the square root of x okay but there must be a relation between y and x otherwise uh, this dy by dx won't become possible okay now uh, let us learn the very first formula of differentiation you have to uh, apply this formula without actually thinking that from where the formula has actually come from okay we are not going to into the deep mathematics but we must learn uh, we have to learn this thing uh, this formula the formula reads as ddx of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 okay now uh, uh, let us come to this what is the meaning of uh, of this thing uh, ddx of x raised to n it means that what is the change in the value of x to the power n when there is a change in the value of x okay what is the change in the value of x to the power n when there is a change in the value of x and that change is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 okay uh, just apply this formula wherever you see it now how it is applied say uh, i have this relation ddx of x is square see how i'm reading it ddx of x is square what does it mean first it means that what is the change in the value of x square when there is a change in value of x apply the formula apply the formula without thinking okay now in this formula instead of n i have 2 so n x to the power n minus 1 will be written as 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 and that gives what that gives 2 x okay uh, take a look at another example ddx of x to the power 5 let us understand what it is ddx of x to the power 5 means what is the change in the value of x raised to 5 when there is a change in the value of x apply the formula without any thinking just apply the formula it's 5 x to the power 5 minus 1 that is 5 x to the power 4 okay uh, now see coming back to the formula uh, this n which is on the power of x it can be a positive number it can be a negative number it can be a fraction it can be a decimal it can be anything so uh, here we have solved the question with the n equals to 2 here n equals to 5 just apply the formula for any other number in place of n okay uh, now once again i'm showing you the first slide and uh, this time you just speak out the meaning for yourself what is the meaning of dy by dx what is the change in value of y when there is a change in the value of x now coming to the next thing okay read this as in the numerator d constant in the denominator it is dx so how will you read it it's d dx of constant that means how does the value of a constant change if there is a change in value of x now the fact is that the value of constant never changes if its value changes it's not a constant okay 
So is there any change in the value of constant? If there is a never, there is never a change in the value of constant. So what is the change? The change is zero. So if you are uh, doing ddx of any constant or uh, uh, we, we always call it uh, also call it as uh, the derivation the derivation of constant with respect to x okay because it's a constant there is no change and that is zero say for example uh, change in the value of number 10 when there is a change in the value of y <laughs> Now 10 is again a constant number, 10 years back it was also constant, uh, it was 10, 10 years after it is going to be 10, now also it is going to be 10, so 10 is a constant. So is there a change in value of 10? There is no change because 10 is a constant, ddy of 10 equals to 0. Now again ddx of pi, okay, what is pi? Pi is... Um, uh, 22 by 7 or 3.14 but is it a constant yes if it is a constant then ddx of pi is also zero differentiation of pi with respect to x you can also say it like this it's equals to zero uh, we take one more example uh, ddx of g g here is what capital g uh, students of physics always know this it is universal gravitational constant and what this value is? The value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meters square per kilogram square. Okay. Now, is that capital G a constant? Yes, it is. So, what is its differentiation with respect to x? It is again 0. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are some questions uh, given to you in the sheet. Try to solve them.